Hi, this is a quick video uh, demonstrating what to do in the reports when uh, when you get a white page or uh, when you're trying to insert some content that is too large and it doesn't fit on the screen. So let's imagine uh, there is some random stuff in here and I want to add a new block of text just below foot to avoid details. So in here, uh, imagine that this is a very large piece of content. I'm gonna, I have in here a page in Wikipedia, an article about broccoli. So I'm gonna copy uh, all of this content and right click, copy. So I can certainly paste this in here. And it's gonna keep all the formatting nicely from Wikipedia. And when I click save changes though, there is a white page now in here. And this is because uh, what happens is that Nutriamin is using this block of content, which is highlighted in blue and is so long that it doesn't fit on the first page. So Nutriami is just putting in the second page so that it fits. In fact, this one is so long that it's overflowing over the uh, page. And if you print this document as a PDF, uh, it's not gonna be displayed nicely. The solution to this is to break this piece into uh, uh, two or three chunks. So to do it, we can click the blue button for edit and we can just uh, select the top part for example, like this, oh, sorry. We have it up to here and now I can right click, cut and save changes. So now this piece is uh, shorter. It only says contents and varieties. And now I can insert text again, insert in here and uh, paste. So save changes. So what happened now is that um, I separated the content into two pieces. Firstly is the introduction and secondly, this contents and varieties. And uh, basically this, this way, if it's in the screen, uh, the recommendation when using the reports is uh, to use templates, which can be created in here. A template is any uh, content that you use often. So for example, if you want to talk about broccoli very often, we could create a template here, call it broccoli, broccoli. And then uh, you can use this in several reports. It is useful for content that you use with your clients often. And you should only uh, really insert text uh, once you've, um, you, you have some content that is uh, very specific to this client. Okay, that's all, thanks.